Hello, everyone, viewers. I want to talk to you about what it would mean to just have a life on your own terms, right? I know that I've been close, having near sales, basically working with Carlos Rudlick, who was uh, one of my other influences for a little bit, and I had another two more just beforehand. Um, so, what can you do to maybe change all that? To maybe change the odds? Have you thought about maybe joining the High Ticket Closer program? Or have there been other things just stopping you? getting in the way did you know that there are quite a lot of people in the world that actually just hate their jobs really badly um, so I mean one day you might just decide well what am, what am I gonna do what am I gonna do I'm just I just look at all these options on the internet and I just cannot think I'm just but that's you right now you see so many gurus and you just think, who is the right one for me? I mean, or are you kind of, at this stage you're about 40 years old, you're 50, and you saw every opportunity online just go by and you have these deep-seated regrets that are making you think, what the fuck am I doing? I need to just start kind of getting out there, I gotta start having a look to see who is the right person. But then what do you think? What if you could invest in yourself a, into a high income skill with Dan Locke for seven weeks? Could it be the thing that maybe you were thinking of doing? So, do you want to know how I almost got a few sales? Okay. It's because I learned the skill from Dan Locke. But obviously I did not do enough preparation for my last gig. And when it wasn't working, I just decided I'm going to fire the influencer. So, because we were working with the sales guy. Um, I think it was a McDaniels he was called. And uh, when I was with him, it was a good experience to get that experience under my belt and I know that right now I'm still stuck in my J.O.B. which is called Tesco's which is a supermarket and uh, you know I do want to burn my uniform at some point so what is your goal? put in the comments right down here and just tell me just have a think of what life could do for you could it bring you to a new peace of mind? Could it bring you to a new, higher version of yourself? When are you going to change that vision of yourself that is in a job for way too long? How long can you keep going on there? You're probably sick and tired of working for one of these companies. I mean, if you are working in Tesco, and you're happy with it, you know, hey, I'm happy for you. I mean, it's not such a bad place to work, but it just depends on what store you're kind of in, so. But then the thing is, I mean, if it's expresses, they tend to have very little staff. And you know, I'm grateful for what struggles that I've been having, especially with getting influencers when it was just after season four of HDC. So, in my experiences, in a nutshell, getting towards near sales on prospects was absolutely great, and uh, I'm pretty happy for it. So yeah, I'm very happy that that's happened to me. But, how did I get those near sales? Would you like to join Dan Locke on a four day webinar a four-day training that you will find out exactly 
how I did it. What do you think? I mean, you've got nothing to lose if you're stuck in some job, which you probably are. Maybe you like where you work and there's nothing wrong with that. And maybe you're thinking you want to change. Want to? Be there. Yeah, sorry, that was just a uh, advert. So anyway, as I'm saying, as if you want to escape your job, you want that dream life, make a comment below. And also, pretty soon, I'm going to be putting my booking link for a call just down below here, so... That's up to you if you want to take some fucking action or be a fucking loser. What's it going to be? What's it going to be, my friend? You understand me? Hey? Comprende? Alright, bye.